channel. My name's Natalie. And I'm Amanda. And today we're going to be doing a 30 minutes clean of us video because we thought why not get involved and see how quick it takes us to clean our house. So we've kind of given ourselves like a five minute per room challenge because we want to like you know be as quick as possible when cleaning. And I mean I don't know about you but I hate cleaning like longer than half an hour. Yeah same. So we want to put ourselves to the test with all the cleaning products that we have because we're quite obsessed to watching YouTube channels aren't we? Yeah we love it and we love watching cleaning um, videos. Something about it is very like soothing and you know it makes you feel really relaxed and actually we're quite organised people in general so actually we actually like watching videos like that so hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video as well. So make sure you guys get your comfy clothes on we've got our you know gym stuff on but we feel, we actually feel quite comfy in our gym clothes so if you're new here please subscribe make sure you comment below any like you know tips and tricks you might be able to give us for cleaning yeah and yeah i hope you enjoy this video so that's it now the five minute timer has now been put on so we're going to start cleaning the kitchen and um, we're going to do all the counters and just can't make it as clean as possible using bleach and making everything smell as nice as we can so me and Amanda are going to get on and clean the kitchen and show you guys how we clean it so anyone who doesn't know this is actually Natalie on the voiceover in the kitchen I'm going to let Amanda do the voiceover for the living room so you know we take it in turns and we might probably share the voiceover for the steps area and the hallway because you know teamwork makes dream work So Amanda is now starting to do the dishwasher. Dishwasher to me is probably one of the most worst jobs I can actually do. But to be honest, I don't really mind it because no one's got time to actually just, you know, clean dishes one by one. So dishwasher is really good in that aspect. And people that haven't got one, obviously, I do feel for you because honestly, it's just so amazing to have in your house because it saves so much time and you literally could put pots and pans or whatever in there. So I'm going to literally just carry on doing the surfaces and Amanda's going to do dishwasher and we're going to carry on doing the kitchen. So I'm going to start adding Sephlora into a bowl of water, my little heart-shaped bowl, and I'm going to put it all over the kitchen counters. If you haven't got Sephlora in your life, you need it in your life, you can get so many different scents, um, and I literally have tried a lot of them, and they all smell amazing. Um, so yeah, just put it all over the kitchen counters, put it on radiators, put it in you know your bucket when you're doing mopping, and it literally makes your house smell unreal. <laughs> So Amanda's now going to start cleaning the windowsill um, in the kitchen. This is actually like one of the most important things to do like in the kitchen as well because people actually do neglect their windowsills quite a lot. So make sure you're always cleaning it, uh, remove everything, don't wipe around stuff and put the stuff back on how you want it. And the best thing about it is you can always change things up and like, you know remove things or um, to make it look a bit different. The kitchen seems a little bit more different as well. So she's going to get on with that and clean the area. So now I'm going to go in with some stainless steel cleaner. This makes everything in your kitchen look so shiny. I even like use it on surfaces and stuff as well, especially like on the oven and kettle and um, toaster and sometimes the fridge as well because it makes everything so shiny. So if you haven't got this, it's the perfect thing to use after you clean everything. So obviously you bleach first, wipe things down with water and then use this and it makes your kitchen shine so much. It just literally makes everything look brand new again. It's now time for Amanda to clean the sink area. This area gets dirty quite a lot because obviously you use it quite a lot throughout the day. So the best thing to do is remove everything, start bleaching the area, wiping it right down quite a lot, give it a good scrub and then let it dry and use some like nicer flora and stuff in the sink and use stainless steel again to make the area look very shiny because nothing's nicer than a shiny sink. We are obviously looking to do our kitchen again because we're obsessed with white as you can tell from our house but at the minute our kitchen is stainless steel with you know black surfaces and and um, wooden cupboards but we obviously have to make do with what we've got so definitely use stainless steel shininess in your kitchen because it makes everything look so brand new <laughs> So 
Amanda's literally drowned the kitchen sink with water, so she has to go in and use um, some kitchen towel just to make sure that she's got rid of all the water. Because when you actually use the stainless steel, like, shiny spray, you kind of make, need to make sure that you haven't got loads of water, else it won't work properly. You need to make sure that the air is dry before using that. So make sure if you do do that, use some kitchen towel, no sweat. <laughs> I mean, is there anything nicer than the cleaner sink? I just feel like if your sink's clean, it can really like tell a lot about a person when they're cleaning because a lot of people do neglect their sinks. And I just feel like it's really important to have a really clean sink. So we're back into the flora, putting it in the sink and making it all smell amazing because nothing's nicer than putting some hot water in your sink and putting a few drops of the flora. Honestly, it's a game changer. So I'm going to go in now and use stainless steel cleaner on top of the counters because, as I said before, it gives it such a nice shine. And if you haven't used it before on counters, you should give it a go because, honestly, it's a game changer with making everything so shiny. So after obviously spraying the counter down with stainless steel, I'm going to use this rhubarb um, bacteria spray, which honestly, it makes your whole kitchen smell amazing. You could probably use this on like, you know, the counters, anywhere in the house that has like some wood counters or stainless steel anywhere. Honestly, it makes your house smell so nice. I'm honestly obsessed with rhubarb. Like if you haven't used rhubarb products before, it's honestly one of the nicest smelling cleaning products you could ever use. <music> So now I'm going to go in with cleaning the dreaded cooker. So basically, this is probably one of the areas of the kitchen that does obviously get the most dirt and grease because you use it quite a lot. You use it every day pretty much. So I'm going to go in with a J-cloth first and then go in with a bit more of like a sponge, like hard sponge, so it kind of gets rid of any like excess grease because you want it as shiny as possible and as clean as possible because you want your, you know, you don't want to be cooking in dirt. So this is probably like one of the most important areas to clean in your kitchen as well as your sink and just kind of really get involved and give it a good scrub and to make it, you know, obviously extra shiny, you go back in with the stainless steel at the end to give it that extra clean. Also, just a quick one while I'm watching this video. So sorry about the state of mind and Amanda's hair. Like we just obviously don't see ourselves because obviously we're just filming and cleaning the way. So yeah, that's why our hair looks awful. So as you can see, the countertop of the oven is spotless and I'm so happy with the result. Last but not least in the kitchen, I'm gonna be sweeping the floors because you have to sweep up, just give it that finishing touch and making sure that everything is spotless. Once I've swept up, I will go in with the brush and scoop and scoop up all the mess from the floor to make sure that it's completely clean because, you know, that's the final result. Okay guys, so it's Amanda here now, taking over the voiceover. Now this is the living room, this is the room we spend most of our time in. It doesn't take as long to clean because it's not as much clutter. But this is Natalie now, um, she's getting some lemon and she's putting it into the bucket to make some hot lemon water. Um, we use this to clean like, maybe like the surfaces and so on. The table that we have actually, um, in our living room is actually handmade so we can't use harsh products on it because if we do do that then it can ruin the table so as you can see Natalie is obviously going to start cleaning the table now and we obviously do use the table quite a lot so it does get quite sticky sometimes so we like to you know put a lot of elbow grease into it and clean the table with the lemon water the lemon water is incredible it smells amazing and yeah so we use that for our table and we also use that sometimes for the sides of uh, the other wood parts of our living room <laughs> is starting to wipe down the tv unit um this is why it's obviously it collects a lot of dust she's using the lemon water tube she used previously on the table so that it doesn't damage any of the surfaces <laughs> So 
if you want a little tip, I suggest that you get some of the Seflora and put it into the diffuser. This is amazing because if you put the sticks in there and then you turn them around, it makes your house smell absolutely amazing. This is actually the linen flavour of Seflora. Here I am rolling the carpet up because we move everything out of the way to make sure that the floors are cleaned well. Natalie, you know what they say? Teamwork makes dream work. And it really does. So what we're doing here is we're putting the sofas up because we like to sweep underneath our sofas to get to every single part of it. If you don't know, our sofas are actually from Ikea. And I will say they actually are a lot lighter than they look. Amanda's just struggling because obviously I'm the stronger triplet. It was hard to balance. <laughs> people but vacuuming is one of my favorite jobs to do in the house so now you can see me vacuuming the carpet i just love the way it looks after you vacuum a carpet it just looks so clean and fresh and like when you walk into someone's house and you see the lines on a rug it just looks like they've just cleaned and it looks amazing now i'm doing the sofas and this is the carpet cleaner i actually use to put on the carpet for any stains to get the stains out guys this product is amazing <laughs> guys putting our flowers down on the table look how good the room looks and it smells amazing there's nothing like being in a nice fresh clean room so i thought it would only be fair to let amanda go first when it comes to doing the steps because i just thought you know what she hasn't really pulled her weight so let her get involved with the steps so she's gonna have to hoover the steps and then we're gonna go in and quickly give it like a carpet clean with the carpet cleaning we we're using before in the living room rug um, because it really makes such a difference and people obviously do make a lot of mess on carpets so it's always good to keep them clean because carpets are not cheap. So as you can see you don't really need a lot of liquid, um, it comes out quite quick in the bottle so just quickly scrub it and don't let too much liquid out because the little goes a long way and I really recommend this carpet cleaner to do but after hoovering your steps and hoovering your carpet because it really does make the carpet look brand new again. <laughs> Right guys, I think I worked seriously hard, so it's now time for Natalie to put a bit of graft in. I did a way better job than you. Who do you think did better than the carpet? Me or Natalie? I mean, you comment below to let us know, but I personally think that I had a hard job. I had to go up and down them stairs loads. To be fair, you had a lot more steps than me. I did. So this is Natalie now, obviously doing the same job I did a minute ago, hoovering the steps, and then she's going to use the carpet cleaner again, as you will see. <laughs> Video. God, cleaning is tiring work. Honestly, it's work hard so. <laughs> It really is. What this video is, it shows you how to clean. You know, if someone's coming over and you want to quickly clean your downstairs in like half an hour, we actually did it in yeah. like 28 minutes. I just feel like 30 minutes would be too much to do your whole house. So. Like, guys, I'm sweating. And this, this was more of like a more of like a um, very quick, deep clean for the main areas. But if you look at the house, 
It's looking insane, isn't it? It's actually, and also you can't smell it, but the house smells incredible. And this life sense thing, um, it's so nice, and it just smells like vanilla. So it's got melon and white flowers in it too. So. So guys, let us know what you think about this video. Did you like us filming a clean video for once? Um, if you did like it, let us know below and we will obviously do more clean videos. Maybe even some, you know, clean upstairs. Or maybe even how to make um, clean products from home that we can use around our house. Like you might have seen Natalie earlier put in the lemon in the bucket. Because we actually like to use lemon water, don't the we? The reason why we use lemon water in the bucket is because we go through so many them get, like lemon wipes. And I feel like they're just so like... We just go through it, right? like a pound, we spend, like 30 wipes. We, we buy so many wipes. When so you can just reuse that all around the house and just keep using it like, you know, kind of like a mop. So. I mean, we, we would still buy wipes, but yeah, obviously easy, it's yeah. good to do a bit of both. But if you're doing deep cleans, you want to get like skirting boards, like, you know, surfaces, you don't want to go through like, you know, the whole pack of wipes. It's no. best to use just lemon water in a bucket with a little bit of flora. So before we um, end this video, I just want to say thank you to absolutely everybody for all your support on our channel. We love seeing all the comments and we're really excited for this year, aren't we Natalie? Yep, buzzing for this year. And the next video we're actually doing is a Pretty Little Thing haul, so make sure you keep an eye on that one. And let's flip, let's flip them around and say goodbye. So, before we go home, well, before we leave you guys, oh, it's gone up down, upside down. Oh, there we go. So before we got, leave you guys to it, I just want to say thank you again so much, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Yeah, yeah.